welcome if you're coming back and welcome 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 if you're new here thank you so much for coming by i really appreciate you guys um so super annoying i was just i okay i was filming the first part of my video and i thought the camera just turned off for some reason and then so i just ran the camera back up again and started filming so it recorded the second half but it didn't record the first half of this video so this is a remake retake <laughs> um but yeah so i'm just this is a planner that i got from print impressions and it's looks like this it looks like this this is an ollie clip by the way and it has a gold popper and everything which i really love that detailing and so somebody um called pen peaceful pen pensive peaceful pensive i'm gonna put her information down below um i was watching her youtube channel and she had a brilliant idea she put her filofax wallet insert so like if you have a filofax compact wallet you know that it has like a backboard and you can take it in and out and the rings are attached to it and what she did is she took her hobonichi weeks cover which is what the size is so you can use any hobonichi weeks cover and she took it and she slid it in and then just yeah used it as a rings planner which is so cool and i love it because i love this planner um but i don't use my hobonichi weeks um as much as i use my rings i use it for an archive planner and I just think it's a really cool, cute little size. And I'm kind of going for the setup with like nudes and like blushes a little bit. I have a stain on there, great. <laughs> and then, but anyways, so yeah, no, so I tried it out and I really, really loved it. It's such a good idea. So thank you so much for that. Um, this is a ruler or um, bookmark from Planning with K. This is from Kubo and Lucy, My Minimal Planner, Planner Press, and Twines and Paper. And then so we're just getting to the flip here it's pretty thin so it shouldn't be too too long um but it's still stuffed of course i tried not to make it be but yeah it kind of inevitable i think but this is from rosie papa tree and this is from paper plants co and then see i already can't turn the pages which i hope it doesn't get annoying da, 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 da. do a little dance okay this is from paper test designs and cloth and paper and then this is a vellum from wines and paper with a white foiling on it this is from elmon paper co and luna loose plans the admin planner this is a cat's Presso Co pocket um, with a cloth and paper card in there plan Exto stickers and this is just a piece of a divider um, that i cut down to a uh, card size and then this is from point hunt and luna loose plans or studio 17 now and then this is from royal planner company and then we go into my inbox and then the setup is pretty, I can't, I don't know, I can't remember if I said it in the second section already, but I'll just say it again here really quickly. The setup is pretty much the same as I always have, like inbox, lists, weekly, dailies, etc, etc. But um, just in case you've never seen my videos before, and I have some new inserts in here and stuff like that too. So I just always, I, I just love flips. I just love flips. I think y'all know that by now. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> and if you don't, that's totally fine too, because I do a lot of flips. But anyways, okay, this is from Playboy Plans Co., this is from Richly Noted, this section cover. It's a printable from Etsy. Then Planner Rebel Co. and Cloth and Paper. This is a ruler from Poi and Hun. And then, oops, it popped out. It's not going to be the first time. Not going to be the last time, I mean. And then this is an insert that I use all the time. It's from Rose and Mist. They're on Etsy. And I just love the box, box layout for uh, an inbox. And then I think that is where the video cut me off. So I will sign off from here and i'll edit the video together and hopefully it's not too choppy <laughs> awesome thanks guys okay bye and this um sorry i think my camera just cut me off there but this insert here is from rose and mist on etsy it's one of my favorite inbox inserts this is from planner room shop and then this is from cloth and paper both of these dashboards here little loose plants and cloth and paper and then this is another Cat's Resico pocket with Queen City Designs card. These are freebies from Twines of Paper that I printed really small and laminated. And this is from Kubo and Lucy. This card here is from Point May Paper Co, I believe. And um, new page flakes from Planet Stow. This was a freebie from Mary Glam Planner. And this is uh, the card I got off Pinterest that I printed smaller so it would fit in here. And then we go to my list section. So she's pretty much set up the same um section wise as i always have it like lit inbox list weekly daily monthly etc etc but yeah so i'm just gonna go through it just in case you've never seen it before and i'm using a couple different inserts too i'm using some inserts to save some space like a week on one page and a day on page and stuff <laughs> this is from cloth and paper this is from blue and loose plants this is a cloth and paper ruler here 
And then this is an Infinite Lotus insert, list insert. This is from Paper Test Designs. Uh, this is from Poppin' Pages Co. And this is my minimal planner. So I only have a few lists in there. I usually have a shit ton, but I'm trying to be minimal a little bit with that because the rings are so tiny. Uh, this is from Cloth and Paper. This is Rooted. And this is just something I whipped up on Canva really quick. Printed on vellum. This is from Elmont Paper Co. And this, like, I printed on acetate, and it's a beautiful, like, nudey pink color and it's it came off really beautiful and it's from luna loose plans this is from brown underscore plans and cloth and paper and this is a 2023 monthly calendar uh, from my minimal World planner it's a freebie and then on the back is perfect that she has a spot to write your year word of the year i really really love this um and then so we're on to my weeklies had a brain fart there these are Paper test designs of planning with aloe cloth uh, sticky notes. This is from Rosy Life Planner. It says today at the top, and it's like a it's a really good thickness of plastic, and it's flexible, and yeah, no, I really like it. And then this is a freebie from Peanuts Planner Co. Perfectionism prints, um, solely paper perfectionism prints, GTV bundle. These ones are from. This is my weekly that I'm using for this week. It's from planner room shop i really love the nude coloring and then it has a little calendar i use this spot for my happy mail um you can use it for anything though you can use it for meals you can use it for workouts uh, and it has a spot for to do's but you can also use this list for anything as well um to buy or whatnot and then i put my schedule in here and then a little memo pad down here and then i made up uh, for next week already and this one is from Pla paper plans co and it's another week on one page and just write your priorities, your to-dos, your memo, and then just, yeah, your schedule there. And then this one is from Infinite Lotus, so it's a similar layout um, with the schedule here, priorities, to-dos, and memo down here. And then another cast recipe called Pocket, and this one has three little slots in it. And this is from Posh Pippa Tree. This is from Pinterest. Um, Posh Pippa Tree, I believe, too. A picture of my fiance and me and this is from floor pepper tree which is now maria plans actually and this is an infinite lotus year at a glance that i printed on vellum with uh the paper plans code 23 i just love the color and the font and i printed but this time it's in vellum and i just have it layered over a queen city designs it's a beautiful linen paper I'm not sure what it says. Beachy, 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 beachy. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. I think it's Italian. Could be totally wrong though. Then this is from Luna Luz Plans of Coffee Paper. And then we're on to the dailies. Uh, paper Test Designs. Ed, this is a freebie from Ivy Mill Inc. This is a ruler from Infinite Lotus and it's super durable, but it's like a thin, thin, thin type of plastic. So it doesn't take up a lot of room, which is nice. And these, this daily is from Paper Plans Co. And it has a cool little spot here, which you could like even like sketch in if you wanted to, like do a doodle or something. I'm not very good at doing doodles. Otherwise I would, but um, it has your priorities or to-dos up here. Put your date in there, your highlight the day, and then your schedule down here. And you can write in your own time. So if you have funny times that are in your schedule for that day, you can really customize it to what you want. And this one is from Simple and Trendy Co. And you just put in, I would put my schedule up here and to do some of the notes down here. So like that, this is from Queen City Designs and it says Crystal Plants. And this is from Cloth and Paper with a little sticky note in there. And then we're onto the monthlies. And this one is actually from Paper Test Designs. I believe it's a freebie as well. And same with this one from the two notes. And this is a ruler from Planet Xdo this time. And I use my label maker to put monthly on top there. So this I actually bought today because I wanted a month on one page for this planner. And I know it's a bit silly, but this was on sale for $2.50. And then I used a code for Infinite Lotus and I got it for $2.30 and it's dated. So I, I know we're like getting to the better end of the year, but for that price. And I'm gonna, um, actually I printed two copies of this yearly because I'm gonna use another copy from the start of January to the end of December to write in all my medical appointments and procedures in this area here. So I have an overglue at a, I have a quick glance um, of all my medical stuff that has happened in a year each month. I hope that made sense. <laughs> I don't know why that was really hard to get out. <laughs> but so this is September and I just took a highlighter and highlighted the dates and then put the information down here. This is from Sticky Monster Co. And then this is from Solely Paper. Ah, oh, jeez, Gotta push it down and then bend it over. And then 
I'm surprised these aren't ripping already. Uh, and then this is my tracker section. This is from Posh Papa Tree, and this is from Luna Loose Plants. And then I have a mood tracker here from Monthly Joy. And if you've seen my videos before, I'm sure you recognize this, but I just like rate my mood on a scale from one being really bad to, hang on, I'm forgetting my own scale, <laughs> one being really good and 10 being really bad. And then I write in a little blurb of what happened that day or why I was feeling a certain way. And I write the number here. And then I also dot it up here so I can make a line graph when it's all done. So I can kind of see if there's a trend. And this is Spiral Facts Ruler. Then I also have a habit tracker from EO Edits. So I just have another kind of mood thing here where it's kind of like the best at the top and then the like shitty or mood gets down lower and something in the middle. So it's kind of redundant, but I saw Tiffany plans do it and I really liked how it looked. So I'm doing it on here too. <laughs> and then this is also, these are like more habits and like things to remember for the days like showering, vitamins, my dog's nose medicine, watering the plants and stuff like that. And then I have a cleaning tracker from Perfective Paper, and I really like this one because it's on one page, but it covers your daily, your weekly, and your monthly tasks because it, it's able to do that because it's stacked right here, the days. So if you can see, so one is at the top and then it would go underneath one is 17, but it's for the same month, right? So I hope that's not confusing, but it, yeah, no, it's really, I re it's really handy. And then tasks, it goes for week one, two, three, four, and then your monthly task, which is just only one check, right? So I really like that. And then this is from Infinite Lotus. This is from Pico. And then my finances. This is a sticky note for paper test designs and planning with Allo and Latua notes. And then this online orders tracker is from Rosie Papa Tree and it's pretty, pretty straightforward and I, that's why I really like it. It has a spot for the date, which I've just been putting the month because I can't remember the exact date of when I bought things. I could go back and look, but I'm kind of lazy. And then a description of what you bought, the shop from what you bought, which I really like is on there and shipped and then received. That's all I need. That's exactly what I need. And then I have a wish list from her as well. And then I have the item, the shop, the price, and then a check mark if you got it or not. So I have one for me and then one for my fiance. <laughs> he never tells me things that he wants. So I really have to like pull it out of him. But he actually, he, he really likes collecting like pocket knives and stuff like that. He's really outdoorsy. And what he, so my hole puncher, one of the springs got stuck. I don't know if that's ever happened to you before. Like when I pressed down, one of the springs got stuck. And so he was using his pocket knife like to pry it up, but he like totally broke the tip. So I felt really bad. So for his birthday, he doesn't watch my videos, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna get him a nice new pocket knife, totally. I gotta ask our friend though, Dylan, for some recommendations. <laughs> And then I have an afterpay tracker here. So this is from a shop on Etsy. I will put it in the description box. I cannot remember it for the life of me. And then this is from Cat's Presso Co. This is from Lucy Plant's Life. And then I just have a little section for goals, which is usually my miscellaneous section, but I didn't really have anything to put in a miscellaneous area. I already have my notes and lists up there, right? And then, so I just kind of, I've been trying to like get more on top of my goals and whatnot for or now <laughs> so i just made this goals and this is solely paper this is um from pinterest and then these are from prints by caitlin they're really cool and then also i i wasn't too i was trying to figure out how to exactly use them and then um underscore plan j on instagram she had she had this layout with the circles there and then the goals and then the actions and then stuff so i got this idea from her so i appreciate that and i love the insert too caitlin so I, and then you have your daily tracker um, ideas there and you have notes section. And then on the back is for the end of month. So you put your favorite moments, your more of less than key points, and then your thoughts. And then on the very back, you have your daily tracker. So I'm gonna track on here, vitamin, journal, my dog's nose medicine, because these are kind of three stand at once that I wanna focus on this month. I know I'm journal or um, tracking them on the other monthly tracker, but I really wanna focus on these ones. This is a tab from, Point hunt. and then these are some other goal inserts they're from planner room shop and then i just kind of have like all my like overall and my goals on there just so i keep them at the forefront well they're at the back of the planner but keep them at the forefront of my memory um of things that i i want to get done on things that yeah i want to do like gotta get my taxes done organize the den because we moved in in february and we still haven't organized the downstairs den lose some weight sell some shit um visit my friend stuff like that 
and this is from Posh Paper Tree. I love it. It says I run on coffee and grace. And then this is from Soli Paper. It's a trigger list. This is from HRH Handmade. And then I don't have anything back here yet and nothing in the zipper, which is cool that it comes with a zipper and a pen holder. And yeah, so, and it has, oh, I do have something. Oh, little Avery or post-it tabs. Cool. And then, yeah, so it has four pockets here. And then this is the slit where I put the um, backboard into. And then let's see, do I have anything in here? Oh, I have some stickers. What a treat. Okay. But yeah, I did notice how it's gold down here too. I just really like it. And it was super inexpensive, which is amazing. That's all the way up there. But yeah, anyways, so that's my kind of, I hope I didn't spend too much time on this little setup, but as I've been enjoying it so far, I mean, I only just did it today and I couldn't wait to show you guys, <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I really appreciate you again. Okay. Bye.